the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to c one of the acute angles being 30 degrees find the radius of the circle with center at the vertex of the angle of 30 degrees which separates the triangle into two equivalent parts the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to c so let's draw a right triangle first with whatever the information given to us we have a right triangle so approximately i'll be trying to draw a right triangle that's our right triangle hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to c so we know this length is equal to c one of the acute angles being 30 degrees so let us say this angle is equal to 30 degrees find the radius of the circle find the radius of the circle with center at vertex of the angle of 30 degrees which separates the triangle into two equivalent parts that means if i label them as a b and c we want to find out the radius of the circle which will divide the triangle into two equal parts so let us say this is the radius center is a we have drawn an arc now actually the circle will be going in this direction but we are interested only in this part which is dividing the triangle into two equal parts now if we know hypotenuse is c and the angle is 30 degrees can we find out what is a b and b c okay let's find it out we will say if i am looking from vertex a then what is my sine 30 i can write down sine 30 degrees is equal to bc by ac which is equals to bc by small c that means 1 by 2 equals to bc by c r is equal to c by 2 so this length is c by 2 now we can use pythagoras theorem or we can use cos 30 cos 30 degrees equal to a b divided by a c that is equals to a b divided by small c but cos 30 is root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 equals to a b by c that means small c a b is equal to root 3 c divided by 2 so we know a b equals to root 3 c divided by 2 now we can easily calculate the area of the triangle because they said separates the triangle into two equivalent parts that means the area of this sector whatever we have should be equals to half of the area of the triangle and now we can easily find out area of the triangle because we know the lengths of the legs or the sides of the right triangle so let's go ahead so we have been given that this is sector we can write down area of sector is equals to half of area of triangle ABC now what is the area of sector sector is basically a part of the triangle total circle will make angle of 360 degrees but sector is making an angle of 30 degrees so area of sector will be theta 30 degrees divided by 360 degrees into area of circle that is pi into r square that is equals to half into area of triangle abc 
that is base into height c by 2 into root 3 c by 2. Now let us simplify this. We will have pi r square divided by 12 is equal to root 3 c square divided by 1 more 1 by 2 we have to write down because half into area of triangle so half into half 1 by 2 whole square it will become root 3 c square divided by 16 simplify that we will have r square equals to root 3 3 root 3 divided by 4 into pi also will come here we will have c square or can I write down r equals to square root of 3 root 3 divided by pi and c square by 4 when you take square root will become c by 2 or we can write down r equals to square root of 3 root 3 divided by pi everything in root multiply with c by 2.